Hi guys and welcome to yet another Stephen Mendes video. Modulation is a scheme by which one signal hides or rides on another. It's the mechanism in telecommunications by which the information, whether it be digital or a voice or music production, reaches your home and is decoded in your television set or your radio so that you recover the in original information. Think of it as a carrier pigeon. The information rides on the carrier. So we have the modulator and we have the carrier. Today we are going to look at pulse width modulation and I have another video already that examines amplitude and frequency modulation. I link to that in the description below and you can watch all two videos. The pulse width modulation is such that the modulating signal changes the pulse width of a digital signal. In other words, moving it from a square wave where it has an equal on and off time to a wave where we have a spike. Either a very small on time or a very small off time. Pulse width modulation is very important because it allows analog information such as voice and pictures um, to ride on a digital carrier because the square wave is what we use in computer technology. So hence the complete ease with which we should be able to make a sine wave from an Arduino using pulse width modulation. The problem really is that people don't understand the relationship between the two waves, the carrier wave and the wave that's doing the modulating. There has to be a great deal of difference in frequency between the two waves. The waves have come into nearly synchronization there. See they're nearly synchronized now. This oscillator that we're focusing on here is being modulated as we as you can see we have a pink cable going into the pulse width the black cable takes it out to my sound system the blue cable carries it down to an oscilloscope probe and so does the red one so we made this setup specifically to demonstrate to you okay we're now going to increase the level or depth of the modulation of the top sine wave onto the bottom square wave. Listen to it. Observe it on the oscilloscope. Notice what has happened here at the positive peak. We have a very narrow duty cycle, a short on time and a longer off time. Whereas at the negative peak, we have a very short off time and a longer on time. So the width here of the pulse is at its largest at the negative peak and at its smallest at the positive peak. Now listen to it as I turn it back into a square wave.
it goes back to a pure tone. So that's pulse width modulation. Thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel. See you in the next video.